Hello students, how are you? I think you are fine by the grace of Almighty Allah from the coronavirus or COVID-19. We are very afraid. So don't be afraid. You stay home and safe yourself. Now, today I will discuss chapter 6, first paper, that is correlation and regression. This chapter is very helpful for the students of class 11 and 12 for pre-test exam and also same important for the ACC examining. So let's start our class. Correlation. Before starting correlation and regression, I would like to go to the your previous chapter like central tendency and measure of dispersion. On that chapters, we have considered one variable that is univariate xi only xi but in this chapter correlation and regression we will discuss two or more variables we will consider two or more variables like if i give you an example of age of husband and wife say age of husband is 30 and wife is 25 this x i is 30 and y is 25 the variable will come pair wise like the income your income is 30000 and expenditure is 28000 these are pair wise the variable will come pair wise like x i and y i okay so go to our chapter correlation and regression so bivariate data is the data that has been collected from two well-defined variable from the same field of inquiry let n pair of values of the variable x and y be x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 x and y n this n pair of data is called bivariate data understood y means two and variables that is bivariate x1 y1 two variables here x2 y2 two variables x3 y3 two variables okay age of husband and age of wife age of second couple age of husband age of wife third couple age of husband and age of wife okay these are bivariate data Say example the income of expenditure of a family income and expenditure of a family income is x1 and expenditure is y1 so have you understood the bivariate data now the correlation correlation means relation relation between two related variable related means if change on one variable effect the change in the other variable that means that they are the related so correlation is a statistical device by which we can determine the degree of relationship between two or more related variable correlation is a statistical device by which we can determine the degree of relationship between two or more related variable the variable must be related that is if the change of one variable effect in the change of other variable then we can say that the variable are related or correlated now types of correlation or kinds of correlation you know correlation are there are three kinds there are three kinds of correlation simple correlation 
partial correlation, multiple correlation. Simple correlation is relationship between two variables. Partial correlation relation among the three variables and the multiple correlations relation among four or more variables. In your class, that is for ACC syllabus, you have only the simple correlation. For your betterment, we have discussed this partial and multiple, but we will discuss only the simple correlation. For simple correlation, we need the measures of correlation. So measures of correlation is coefficient of correlation. The coefficient of correlation is the mathematical measures by which we can determine the nature and the degree of re re linear relationship between two related variables. It is denoted by R. So it is a mathematical measures or mathematical formula by which we can determine the nature and the degree of linear relationship between two related variables. It is denoted by R and the Carl Pearson, Carl Pearson first give gave a formula of coefficient of correlation. This is Rxy equal to summation Xa minus X bar Y minus Y bar root bar summation Xa minus X bar square Y minus Y bar square. What are these X and Y I? X and Y X1, Y1, X2, Y2, X3, Y3, X and Yn. These are n pair of bivariate data. The n for n pair of bivariate data, we have the formula of coefficient of correlation, which is given by Carl Pearson, equal to sum of summation x i minus x bar into y minus y bar divided by root over summation x i minus x bar square into summation of y bar minus y bar square. If we simplify this formula, we can get this one. That is summation xi minus summation x into summation y by n root over summation x square minus summation x whole square by n into root over summation y square minus summation y whole square by n. You will memorize this formula equal to covariance x y root over summation x x square sigma y square root over summation sigma x square sigma y square or equal to covariance x y sigma x into sigma y covariance x y sigma x into sigma y what is x bar x bar is summation x i by n what is y bar summation y by n x and y will be given you will easily find out the x bar and y bar what is covariance of x y covariance of x y is summation x i minus x bar y minus y bar divided by n what is sigma square x it is the variance of x it is the variance of y what is sigma x sigma x is standard deviation of x what is sigma y standard deviation of y so you have already known sigma x sigma y in the chapter of measure of dispersion so you all should memorize these four things but mind it these two are very important for solving the mass or calculation the mass or find out the coefficient of correlation from the given data especially this formula if you follow this formula then your mass will be become very very easy for you because x and y will be given then you will find out the x y that is multiply x and y summation x the sum of all x summation y sum of all y and n is how many pair are there say uh, five 
number of five couples and the other that is n equal to five how many pairs are there x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y2 or if only these three is given that is n equal to three okay have you understood so this formula of coefficient of correlation of Carl Pearson now very simple things and in important also types of simple correlation types of simple correlation there are five types of simple correlation like partial so perfect positive correlation partial positive correlation perfect negative correlation partial negative correlation and zero correlation so simple correlation are five types now perfect positive correlation if the increase or decrease in one variable f effect in the corresponding increase or decrease in the others that is if the changes are in the same direction and the rate of changes of both variable are same then the correlation between two variables is called perfect positively correlation in this case r equal to 1 have you understood perfect positive correlation i will uh, describe some things in this case if one is increased that is if one variable is increased other also increase 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 or if one is decrease then other also decrease okay one is increase other also increase if one is decrease others also decrease and the amount of increase or decrease are same same amount say the income of your father increase taka 10000 and the expenditure of your father is also increase 10000 that is both are increase and amount also increase these are perfect positively correlation in this case r equal to 1 you also know that the coefficient of correlation lies between minus 1 to plus 1 only minus 1 to plus 1 okay so perfect possibility correlation r equal to 1 now come to the next one partial positively correlation in this case if one is increase others also increase if one is decrease other also decrease but the amount of increase or decrease are not same same unit not same quantity is not same in this case this is partial positively correlation here r equal to 0 to 1 so if the increase or decrease in one variable effect in the corresponding increase or decrease in the others that is if the change are in the same direction changes same direction but the rate of change of both variable are not same then the co correlation between two variables is called perfect positively correlation in this case r equal to 0 to 1 what is the difference between perfect and partial positively correlation only difference is this here the rate of amount of rate of change are same and here the amount of rate of change are not same what is the similarities both are same direction both are same direction now perfect negative correlation if the increase or decreases in one variable effect in the corresponding 
decrease or increase in the others that is if the changes are in opposite direction and the rate of changes of both variable are same then the correlation between two variable is called perfect negative correlation have you understood this if one is increase other is decrease just reciprocal opposite one is increase other is decrease or if one is decrease other will increase and this increase and decrease the amount will be always same then it is called perfect negative correlation can you give an example like you know if the supply is increase in your market then demand will be decrease if the supply is increase then price will be price will be decrease if the supply is increase price will be decrease say supply is increase 2 unit price will decrease 2 unit that is one is increase other is decrease but the amount is same in this case we can say perfect negative correlation have you understood supply is increase 2 unit then price decrease to unit the opposite direction but amount is same this is perfect negatively correlation here r equal to minus 1 r equal to minus 1 perfect partial negative correlation if the increase or decrease in one variable effect in the corresponding decrease or increase in other that is if one is increase other is decrease one is decrease other is increase that is the changes are in opposite direction and the rate of change of both variable are not same the previous one the rate of change are same here the rate of change are not same then the correlation between two variable is called partial negative correlation in this case r equal to r is greater than minus one less than 0 that is r is less than 0 minus 1 to 0 r equal to minus 1 to 0 here the if one is increase other is decrease one is decrease other is increase if i go to our previous example if supply is increase 2 unit then demand is say decrease 1 unit one, that is supply is increase demand demand sorry supply is increase prices decrease supply is increase prices decrease but amount is not same first one is two second one is one so this is partial negative correlation here i is greater than minus one now zero correlation if the variables are independent then the change of one do not affect the other then the correlation between two variable is called zero correlation in this case coefficient of correlation is r equal to zero that is here the variable are not related variable are not correlated that is they are independent each others suppose the price of fish in the market and your marks of mathematics in the class these are not related they are independent so this is zero correlation here are equal to zero